fair warning, we are going to talk about some serious concepts that could trigger some people. Let's let you know, because it has to do with something so unbelievably insane that my faith in humanity, which has always been unshakable, as unshakable as Waffle House is at 2 a.m. when you need something to eat desperately, and as unshakable as the kindnesses of those Waffle House employees to serve you. That's my faith in humanity. I've always believed that somewhere, everywhere, there's a Waffle House. And yet, somehow, somehow, seriously, the world of football has been getting weird on me recently. And what happened this morning when I happened to just hop on stream legitimately blew my entire mind. I could not believe that what I was witnessing was actually happening. That somebody somewhere with two brain cells to rub together to start a fire like the cavemen of old made a decision that was in line with this. And it has to do with the, you know, the triggering part of this whole thing. Uh, and that would be Danny Alves. Now, Danny Alves, of course, was a very good player for a very long time. And he played at a club that you might have heard of. If you haven't, that's totally fine. Called Barcelona. And I promise I'm not like a huge Barcelona hater here. They're just doing a lot of stupid stuff recently. Don't shoot the messenger, right? Like, like, like if, if you do a lot of stupid stuff, I'm going to be there to talk about it. That's kind of that's kind of what we are all doing here. And Barcelona is active they are at like stupidity con 2024 and they are waving the flag out front. Like they're the poster child for stupidity con 2024 right now with all the financial stuff. And now seemingly in some sort of like presidential candidate way, they are trying to take the attention off that financial stuff by doing something that involves Danny Alves, who, if you didn't fill in the last part of that bio was just convicted. He was convicted, not of like tax fraud, this man was convicted in a court of law in Spain of rape, like actual rape, like the crime convicted court of law sentenced to prison for five years. So what does Barcelona do? They take him off of their legends site, except they already put him back on it. So Barcelona has a section of their website, right? They have a section of their website where it lists the history of Barcelona. And you have decade by decade. Oh, this is our history, right? There are the presidents, which is, you know, the presidents made sure that that section was even ahead of the legendary players or the coaches. Uh, but the presidents are here, you know, there we go. Managing commission. I don't know how that guy got his picture there, but I, I guarantee you that one is the cover of his tender profile. I would be the cover of mine. And then there's, you know, coaches, center for documentation. I don't even know what that is. Center for, okay, now I'm down some rabbit hole. And then there's legendary players. And you've got Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets, Gerard Piquet, Danny Alves. He's just there. Now we have figured out the reason he's on the top row is this order is in the order that they played for the club. But it also is just terrible optics that a dude that just got sent to prison, the real thing, for violent sexual crimes is ahead of Lionel Messi in your legend section. And this happened two days ago. Somebody made the executive decision just like four days after he was convicted to add him back to the legendary section. And I have racked my brain to try and figure out one reason why you would do that. And there just isn't one. Now, I did get one counter argument. We talked about this on stream today, right? I, one, somebody was like, well, Ronaldinho has been in prison, right? Which he has. He was in prison for using a false passport, which is a weird reason to go to prison. But there are then bad reasons to go to prison. Like using a false passport to try to cross a border is one thing. That is, uh, you know, this isn't even apples to oranges here. This is like apples to donkeys like that's the you know like well if ronaldinho was in prison they should remove him too because ronaldinho is on here uh he he is on this legend section that includes to be fair 112 player uh, 100 a, a little over 100 players i can't remember exactly how many are on the list the news articles will talk about it but and danny alves is now one of them and this just seems like the most obvious victory that you can achieve as a club like, I mean, something that I, I want to bring in a comparison here is like the Mason Greenwood situation where everybody you know, agreed it was like something terrible was going on. But even Mason Greenwood never ended up in a court of law where there was a conviction where somebody came out and was like, 
that guy, your honor, like some sort of 1970s US TV show and somebody stands up like, he did it, you know, like, and they, they had proof enough to take away this man's freedom for five years. And you want to still consider this person a legend at your club. You know, maybe they put him up on the website because he got off light. I mean, he was, you know, the prosecutor's office recommended a nine-year prison sentence. The victim sought 12 years, uh, but the court gave him a minimum sentence. So maybe, you know, you make it into the Barcelona legend section if you only get the minimum sentence for, you know, violent crimes. That, yeah, totally, that that checks out. Or maybe he got put there because of his donation of 150,000 euros to the victim, which he said that he would do no matter the outcome of the trial, regardless the outcome of the trial. I find kind of hilarious that apparently agreeing to pay 150,000 euros to the victim, regardless of the outcome of the trial, actually is considered a, a, like, a mitigating factor for when it comes to you being sentenced. That seems insane to me but that, it's also not the main point that we're talking about here because maybe that under fifty thousand euros is you know it's a sign that maybe danny isn't such a bad guy you know let's throw him back on the legend section like dude 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 who made this decision and i tracked down i got the nose of a bloodhound on the internet two different mars articles so first this was three days ago this was published on the 27th of february Barcelona le Barcelona withdraws Danny Alva uh, his legend status after his conviction for sexual assault. They withdrew it. And then the next day, Marcia wrote another article where they reinstated him, which means they, re they removed him, you know, a few days after the conviction, which pretty slow reaction time. Maybe you should start doing like an aim trainer or reading the news, but they, they did remove him, which is fair. I'm not going to dump on them for removing him. And then they put him back the next day. I, I can only imagine. Like who's walking through that door, right? To try, to try and to try like to campaign for Danny Alves to be back in there. Like they're in their the WordPress account or whatever behind the the website, and they're like, "Well, who took off Danny Alves? How dare you? That man was a legend for the club." And then they reinstate it. And the best part is you can click on it, and it gives you like a description, like a giant description. I'm like, okay. I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt because I was so mind blown that they'd done this. Like, let's read the description. Maybe they re-uploaded it with like, uh, you know, oh, by the way, he ended up going to prison. We, you know, we feel terrible for like the victim of this heinous crime. And we, you know, like we feel bad that he fell so far from the greatness he achieved earlier in his career. Well, I don't know, whatever the hell you want to say, but some sort of mitigating statement, at least to acknowledge it. I'm I'm gonna save you. I'll say I'm give you the spark notes. They don't they don't do that. What they do do, just incredibly, is talk about uh, uh you know football fans are never gonna forget his raids down the right hand side, wreaking havoc on opposition. But yeah, he wreaked a lot of havoc. Like what? Well, I mean, what? I get that this is probably being translated, but this is unusually colorful, <laughs> colorful and enthusiastic language to describe somebody who is currently in jail for a violent sexual crime. But at least there was one person that was happy about it. His, uh, his wife, or sorry, his, his ex-wife, celebrated his return to Barcelona's legendary player list, having revoked his status after he was found guilty of rape, sentenced to four and a half years behind bars. Not only does this take the cake for the single longest title in the history of journalism, I, that that might be the only the only person. Maybe she was the one that walked into the office and was like, "Actually, I I have an idea for how you guys can improve the legend section of your website." So yeah, I'd love some sort of Netflix show on the behind the scenes of the struggle of taking Danny Alves down off the website, only to then bring him back. Perhaps they were hoping that nobody would notice and they'd just get the good press for taking him down for the day. But like, what is what else is the point of having a legendary players section on your website unless people are going to look at it? And just having him on the top row ahead of Lionel Messi, I get the way that it's organized. But if you were trying to manage optics and you were trying to do it as worse as pot, like the worst way possible, it's a really, really solid start, dude. Fan, just fantastic and just bad awful representation and vibes all around like just imagine if you're the woman that has been subjected to this right you you just had the person that assaulted you has just been convicted and sent to jail and you have to read about how they are 
considered the best right back in Barca's long history, right? In news articles about his ex wife coming out, you know, thanking the fact that he's being memorialized. Like, it's just kind of, I mean, it's sending every wrong message possible that I still, now, having just talked about it, I can't believe this is actually real. That there's one person that's like, yeah, good call, dude. Let's let's keep him a part of our club. Absolutely. But let's really advertise. Like, I even understand the concept that you might want to provide some sort of emotional support because Danny Alves is a human being, but you also have to take into consideration the damage that he has done as a human being. And that is something that is just not being done here. And instead, all of those parts of him are just being embraced as part of the Barcelona brand because he's a legendary player. Uh, apparently. Just don't look at, you know, don't type his name into Google. All right. See ya.